All right. Bubble Rex here. <clears throat> Today's video, you can already tell from the title, is my predictions and my wish list for 10.1.7. Now, I did just uh, finish up the one quest line on my Demon Hunter where it showed the tree and all that. And I'm going to be real. That has to be... If we think about how the patches have been going. Forbidden Reach sets up um, Zarlik, whereas 10.5... Um, if we remember, here, I had this brought up as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just getting into the video. So I had this brought up as well. Here, let's shrink that and make it the perfect size. Hold up. Alright. So that was Fractures at Home. That was our look. Okay. So, re-remember... 10.5 it was primalist tomorrow all right remember it updated now this is interesting primalist tomorrow updates this we have forbidden reach which leads into uh zarla cavern now we have 10.1.5 mega dungeon eon fringe and now, again, Primalist Tomorrow didn't lead into 10.7. But the main story continued through 10.0.7. Uh, so the main story is going to continue, in my mind, through 10.1.7. So, my predictions for it, alright? I'm gonna do my predictions for like the story for the that and then I'm gonna talk about my wish list what I think is gonna be in it and all that so I think we are going to get the tree all right 10.0.7 we are getting the tree this Thursday we're gonna see the tree that's my prediction am I right Maybe, am I wrong? Maybe, who knows? We won't know till Thursday. But that is my prediction. I think 10.1.7 is the, going to continue the green dragon quest line. And hopefully, we get some red dragon stuff in this as well. Alright? So, 10.1.5, which comes out today, supposedly wraps up the bronze. And I think that's going to give us hints to, uh, well, I think that's going to wrap that up. And then we're going to be told what's going to be happening in the Onarn Plains with the tree. And follow up with that. And then that, 10.1.7, is going to lead into 10.2, which will be the full Emerald Dream patch. Um... But we're getting the tree in 10.1.7. That's my prediction. Now, let's talk about features. Okay. I think, I, I think we're going to get the ketchup gear. Maybe ketchup upgrade stuff. Um, let's take a look at these, these pages. So, I br brought these all up to see how stuff changed. So... This was the first one ever posted. Then this was the Embers of Neltharian one. So now we had all this more stuff filled in, as you can see here. And then we had Fractures in Time. You see how... Hold on. You see how that got filled in when it had nothing here? Um, so, as you can see, Stories and Quests. Holiday refresh, 
content and systems updates. Let's see. Content and system updates. That was on everything. World events. So that is the time rifts, and we got the mega dungeon. Yeah. All right, now let's look what happened here. So return to Forbidden Reach, return to Forbidden Reach, new quests and challenges. See, we had all that. Holiday updates. So, what do we think we're going to get feature-wise in 10.1.7? So I have some stuff written down here. I think we're gonna get Troll and Night Elf Heritage Armors. I definitely think we're gonna get Night Elf Heritage Armor. All right, and I, and I picked Troll for the Horde side because Trolls deserve something and they're an OG. All right. Ping system, we already know is coming. So we're getting a ping system. That was something interesting to drop. Now, I'd imagine, just like Forbidden Reach did, whatever 10.1.7 does, it is going to be the catch-up gear of Season 2. So hopefully we have another... People have been having issues with the zone of Forbidden Reach and Zerilek with the rares because no one's killing them anymore. So hopefully... Maybe we get some nerfs to those zones, and in the new zone, that's planned for by making bosses scale down later, maybe. You know, I, I think they should nerf the rares in the zones, because you can solo them as a tank, but you can't really as a DPS. Um, but hopefully, um, well... Not hopefully, but I think we're definitely going to get the ketchup gear, and it's going to use upgrades. And part of my wish list is hopefully we get tradable crests. I wish crests were account tradable. Alright. But that that's my wish. Um, I think we're going to get Eastern Kingdoms racing. Will 10.1.7 be when we get... Uh, dragon riding in the old world hopefully hopefully I mean it's definitely on my wish list do I think it's gonna happen I feel like I feel like less solid in that because they're doing these racing events uh, but I definitely think Eastern Kingdoms is up next um, and my wish is for dragon riding in the old world. Um, I also think since I be do believe that this is going to be the um, uh, the green dragon continuation, I think druids will get dragon riding form in this patch. All right, hopefully that's true. Druids would love that. All right, so if you're a druid watching this, hopefully this is the one. We've been wanting it for a bit. I definitely think this has got to be the one then. Um, and then we, like I said, this says holiday refresh. What does that mean? Um, we did have the one that said, what was it? Said holiday updates in 10.0.7, but we didn't get that. But we see holiday refresh here. We know, here, I'm bringing this up again. I have a whole video about this. Here, let's hide that. Um, oh, it's on the PTR. There is a archaeology. Okay, it's not archaeology. There is a Secrets of Azeroth event, okay, that begins in August and ends in September. Coincidence? I think not. My 10.1.7. Let's predict it right now. September 5th. It's either going to be the 5th or the 12th. I'm going to say the 5th. Alright? That's my Bob Stradamus opinion, the 5th. Alright? But it's going to be in September. There's that event. I think the event either ends on the 5th or the 12th. So that's why I'm sticking with these two. But I'll pick one and I pick the 5th. 
Alright? Alright. So there's that event. Which leads into my other prediction. The return of archaeology. I want to see the return of archaeology. That's part of my wish list and my prediction. Because of that event alone. Also... On my wish list, even though I'm not a big PvPer, PvP needs something. Arena, battleground, something. Give them something. Not just reworks. They need like a new thing, a new playground. I honestly don't think they would care about a same exactly cloned battleground, just a new map. Honestly, I, I honestly don't think they would complain about that. Um, but that's not really for me to talk about because I'm not a big PvP or anyways. Maybe incentivize me more to PvP. I thought I'd be more incentivized by Solo Shuffle, but when they remove tank queues from Solo Shuffle, I'm going to be real. I, I stop. I like the three DPS uh, battles that would happen, uh, but other people didn't, so I got outvoted. Oh, well. Um, Windwalker rework. That's on my wish list. Uh, probably your favorite clash is on your wish list. Hopefully, we get some reworks for someone. I definitely think someone's gonna get something. Um, what else? All right, I went through all my normal predictions, all my wish lists on here. I've ranted a bit. Now let's get to my crazy shit. Mini raid. What's Firak up to? I can see him in a mini raid. The tree comes out, we're all like, yay, happy tree, and Firak's like. Firak looks at the tree and is like, oh man. I feel like I want to do something to the tree. <laughs> Fucking Pyrax's gonna have his Sylvanas moment. Like, I want to burn a tree. As many, <laughs> I don't think he'll succeed. I the 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 point would be he doesn't succeed. But I have that feeling like we're gonna have this new tree and Shadow Flame Pyrax's gonna be sitting there like, and I think we're gonna get a mini raid. That's my conspiracy theory. Do I think that's actually going to happen? No. Should it happen? Probably not. But that's my crazy. That's my crazy shit. Um, what else? Tradable. Okay. Let's look at little things. Tradable crests. That'd be amazing. Uh, flight stone cap. Increase. Why are we capped? I've been capped for too long. Can we please increase it? What else? What else? Maybe a bigger reagent bag? Profession? More profession stuff? Maybe ketchup? Maybe respec? I guess that's... If they do good profession ketchup, now that they have a, they have a way to dump knowledge in the new patch, um, maybe give us ketchup, man. There's gonna be people starting new. If you want new people to start Dragonflight, we need profession ketchup. Um, so maybe have repeatable quests. Maybe uncap the amount. Oh, man. Maybe uncap the amount of skill point drops. You know? Because you can only get so many of certain mining ones a week. So many of certain herbalism one. You can only get the one quest item. Maybe uncap it from treasure chests. Maybe not mobs, because I can imagine you doing one of the raids with the one type of mobs and you just get flooded. Maybe... Maybe increase the drop rate of um, dragon shards. I don't know. 
What else on the wish list? What do we want? What do people want, man? I don't know. Hey, if you watch this video, tell me something you want. We're all going to hear about it. Uh, but I guess that's it. Uh, I don't think we'll get a new dragon riding Drake until 10.2 if we're going to get one. Um, but yeah, those are my predictions for 10.1.7. I don't think there's going to be a new class unlock. They've already done Warlock. I think 10.2 may have the new class unlock, but I'm not ready to do my 10.2 predictions. You know, maybe a little bit into this new patch, I'll be ready to compile that together. Um, and what we hear about 10.0.7, no, 10.1.7, too many numbers, man. Um, but yeah, those have been my predictions and my wish list. And thank y'all for watching as always, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye.